Okay, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 4. In the last episode, we made our little mob farm room here where monsters will spawn once we remove these torches and they will fall down there so we can kill them. Okay, that has been completed. Now we just need to a way to easily kill the monsters. So we are going to, for starters, remove this. And let's go back so we can make our tools. So the tools we're going to make for this, oh, let me remove these things first. Nice. Put them in there, nice. Okay, so the tools we're gonna make for this is, uh, we're gonna use mob, a uh, mob grinder here or a mob masher and we're gonna kill the mobs with this we should have all the resources to be able to make one of these and we're also going to use an upgrade here since this thing can kill mo uh, mobs and it can also be used uh, absorption radius increase so oh, this is for something else i think anyway this is what we're gonna make let's save it there we are also going to make Uh, wait, hold on. I think it's, yeah, this is what we're gonna make. A conveyor belt to move the mobs from one space to another. We have the vector plate one or this one. Which one is the cheaper one? The vector plate one. Okay, so we're gonna make this because you only get six blocks with using four iron. This is only two iron and you get eight. So this one is the much better ones and this one can be upgraded as well to make it faster so this definitely benefit to using that mobs can spawn on this block i bet you can spawn on this one as well right we'll have to find out since it's cheap to make i don't it doesn't really matter anyway we need iron uh let's melt the nickel here as well while we're on this side anyway uh let's see let's see let's see let's see we need redstone and we need i believe we do have a yep we do we have a slime ball block slime block which we can turn into slime balls i think we have everything to make the uh we have i we don't have iron we don't have sugar how many do i we get eight for one sugar so we'll take eight sugar nice and the iron there we go so we should have everything now nice 64 so we're done with that mm. next up is throw that in there melting Next up is this. So we need to make two of these. So six swords. Uh, plus two more swords. We also need diamond. Two. Okay. We need nine stacks to make one stack of diamond. There we go, diamond. Uh, six swords, we need sticks. Uh, six. Nice. Um, okay, so we need to make this first. Two of them. And we are missing a redstone block and two swords. Oh, I needed to make eight swords and I only made six swords. Okay, two more swords and we should be able to make this mob measure. Nice. So this is, we'll place it over there and we'll, oh yeah, we need to make the upgrades as well. Uh, let's do that immediately. Where is the, ah, uh, forgot to save it, mob. Okay, the one we are going to make is luck, sharpness, 
Uh, no fire aspect, no smite, no bean beheading. We could see, and these are for fans, so it's not for the measure. This is for the absorption hopper, which is this. Oh yeah, we're gonna make this later on as well, so might as well save it. Mm, think that will be it. Yeah. So let's start with the lock. We need lapis. On this side. Wait, one more. Okay, how many swords do we need? Oh no, not swords yet, lapis. So we need gold. Oh, I don't think we have gold, right? Nope. We'll need to go harvest some. So four of those. Our inventory is a bit too cluttered. We'll need to clean up. Let's put those things away since we don't need them right now. We don't need the redstone either. We don't need the mulch. We don't need a bucket. We don't need that. We don't need this anymore either. Food will keep on us. Yeah, so let's go grab some gold resin. Toss it in here, and while that is melting, let's see what it takes to make this one. Oh, it also requires gold. We have zero gold, don't we? <laughs> Literally need to wait for this. This is nickel, not gold. Uh, while we wait, we might as well collect some more resources, like resin, for example. And make some stacks of that. Two, four, six, seven. We'll make some lead blocks, which you can use later probably for something. Let's dump the rest of the gold. Nice, we've made some gold. Okay, so this will become ingots. I don't think we need that much lapis, do we? Nope. We need only, what's the maximum amount? 10. Lock is 10 as well. Beheading is 10. Okay, so all of these are 10. So just 10 of that. And now we just need to pick the sword one, which requires swords. 10 is 40 swords. And what else? Yeah, only 40 swords. Wait, we need more. We need some additional. Nuggets. Okay, so let's make the 40 swords. There we go, 40. And we'll need to break down some more iron. Nice. Uh, let's dump all of our swords in the chest. Okay, and we are done with those two. Uh, let's make our wait, beheading. Yeah, this seems way too costly right now. I don't think I have enough resources for that. So, wait, why didn't that make more? This is what I want to make. Yeah, there we go. And why did I throw it in there? I have no idea. Diamond, stone, this needs to be put back. Oh yeah, we also need to make a lever to activate the thing which requires one cobblestone. Nice. Uh, anything else we need? Let me think. 
we could make some ladders to go up but that's not really necessary mm. nope that seems to be all we need right now just the vector plates i'll find out if i'm missing something when i'm there it, 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 it always works like that I leave here thinking I'm good to go but then I arrive there and I don't know what to build oh no that's clear I thought it was I thought it was something else never mind anyway let's go work on the mob farm to get mobs to spawn so first things first we'll oh see I did no I forgot something I forgot to make the forgot to make the wooden hoppers we should have seven here I need uh, I need one more I believe might as well dump two blocks of wood there right okay and we'll also bring a chest yeah now I am definitely good to go mm, let's open up this a bit wait this is silver amber why is it why did I make silver amber Oh, I thought it was the, I thought it was the lead ember, but it's silver. And we, let's go back and get some chiseled slab. We'll throw that in there for now. Okay, now we have our chiseled blocks. Let's remove those two stones up there. We'll put this here. in the center so everything is lit up let's make a table put it here uh, we'll put down some chests let's make a few more chests uh, one more chest hmm. yeah just thinking out loud for a second Uh, let's also make some sticks and make a another table if we're gonna attack the monster then we need something to repair it with so we'll put it here and we'll put a chest here as well nice ah, it doesn't hit this spot that's unfortunate We'll need to clear out these lights. So boom. Oh, I did not mean to fall down. But it's fine. We'll place the vector plates up here. Break. Nice. Okay, the vector plates will be placed like this. So any mobs that spawns on it will immediately go in one direction and go out in the center oops nope I did not want to do this all right so it does look like the mobs can still spawn on it since it has a little red thing there okay our mob measure will go in the center here we don't get damage from touching it right nope and we'll put some of those there so any monster spawn on it will move towards the center slowly and get hit 
I would like to leave now. Oh, ah, I wanted to check something. I did not know if it would work. Can I place this and then put a this on it? And question, other question, can mobs spawn on this thing? I don't know. But we can place it. So we'll have to remove this. Okay, there we go. We'll put a chest there. Uh, other way around. The hopper will go there. Okay, so if something falls in there, it will have to end up coming all the way here. Eventually. Yep, there it is. Nice. We'll put a double chest here and then we'll put on top the nice so any mob that spawns will fall on top of that oh we forgot to put the upgrades there we go let's close it up we can still open this because it's glass and now i just need to put the lever behind here which oh it's a bit too far uh question can we put levers on that we cannot that is a bit unfortunate okay so we need to fix that Yeah, that is a bit unfortunate. Okay, mm. so this will just go there, there, there. We'll lose a bit in early on, but it doesn't really matter. Not one bit does it matter. So we'll put this here, which does work. Nice. Okay, let's put the things back. Okay, so no matter where the monsters fall on top of it, they will end up in the center and get mob mashed. Nice. So I think that should be it. I wonder, just just out of pure curiosity, can I place a vector plate on top of it? But hmm, I mean, if we place a vector plate on top of it, that mean that means we can move the loot that goes in the center away again, and hopefully it'll get picked up. So, if we then toss something there, it just get moved to another chest. Oop, some dude that just gets stuck there in a corner. And I can't pick it up anymore. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, never mind then. It was a decent try, but it doesn't actually matter. Okay. Anyway, I think that's it for the mob farm. Let's turn it on. What we're, what we're really looking for is an ender pearl, so we can make the absorption hopper here, which will basically replace the entire uh, hopper, wooden hopper system. So yeah, I think that's it. We'll have to come back later. Need to be at least 16 blocks away from it. Oop, nice, they're spawning and they die. So they'll keep spawning like that, they'll keep dying, the loot will keep collecting, hopefully we'll get an ender pearl by the time the next episode starts. Ooh, they're dying super fast. That was almost instantaneous. I might actually not upgrade it and make it higher. This might actually be the mob spawner. 
Maybe I might make it bigger, but not higher. Oh yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.